This is heartbreaking. This is deeply troubling. It shows that our barrier reef really is in very serious trouble indeed. We've seen very widespread bleaching during a La Nina year, as you pointed out, where usually the reef would be getting a bit of a reprieve. It's affected all three of the major regions of the reef. 91% of the 719 reefs that were surveyed, surveyed showed some degree of bleaching. Sadly, the most severe ble bleaching is in that central region that includes the Whit Sundays, many of the tourist areas. Now, this information is, of course, incredibly pertinent right now as we're heading into an election. It shows us yet again that the very survival of the reef is at stake. And the science is clear that its future depends on very aggressive, determined emissions cuts this decade from Australia and from the world. It's never too late. Now, we do have to be frank about just how serious trouble the reef is in. And the latest IPCC report suggested that at warming at two degrees, we would lose nearly all tropical coral reefs worldwide. If we're successful in limiting warming as close to 1.5 degrees as possible, then we would give the reef some parts of it some chance of survival. So it's not too late. We need to do everything we can.